let's look at how you can do a bulk upload of your supplier open and purchase invoices rather than inputting them individually. Okay, from the dashboard, we're going to choose accounts and then we're going to choose purchases. And then we're going to choose the option to import. And here we're going to import the bills that make up our opening balance. The easiest way to do it is to download a template file from Xero. Okay, here's the template file and this will download as a CSV file. I've turned it into an Excel file just so it's a little bit easier for us to look at on the screen. Now there's a lot of fields on here, but the only ones we need to worry about are the ones that have got an asterisk. And I've highlighted them in yellow. They're not normally in yellow, but you can ignore all the other ones. So for example, our opening balances of our purchase invoices, we need to know the contact name, we need to know the invoice number, the invoice date, the due date, the quantity, the unit amount, the account code and the tax, i.e. the VAT type. So in this instance, our opening balances are made up of six invoices. And what I've got on the screen here is an example of a report that you would maybe have from your previous system. So your previous system, you would run a report saying, this is what's due as at the conversion date of the 31st of March, 2015. So again, it's quite simple. There's only seven invoices. Obviously you could have a lot more than that. So all that we have on this report is the name of the supplier, the invoice number, the date of the invoice, and the amount that's due. So what we want to do is we want to take that information and we want to add it into our spreadsheet. So we're going to add in the contact name. We're going to add in the invoice number. Did I get that right? Yeah, I've got seven lines. We're going to add in the invoice dates. So bear with me here. In reality, you would want your report from your other system to be in a format that you could copy and paste. But because there's only seven invoices, it's easy enough just to key in the information. Hopefully I get it all right. And finally, 28th of March. So yeah, if you had this information in an Excel or CSV file, then you would just copy and paste it into your template. Due date, I'm just going to add 30 days to all these dates. Okay, I'm not concentrating, so it's that plus 30. I thought I was in zero there. And I'm going to copy these down. But because they're formulas, I'm going to choose copy. I'm going to choose paste special and I'm going to choose values. So now press escape to get rid of that. They're values. They're not formulae. Quantity, I'm just going to input one seven times. The unit amount is the, I'm going to input the total of the invoice. Again, hope I get all these right. 600, 900, 600, 480. Account code is garden maintenance. And I would check in zero, I've got the right code. So that's what I think it is. The code is not that relevant because this information is prior to you starting using zero. So it really doesn't matter. Now the tax type is your VAT and we want that to be exactly as it's described in zero, which is 20% a space open brackets VAT on expenses and close brackets. 
and again I'm going to copy that down. So that's our spreadsheet complete and then we would save it and make sure that it's a CSV file. So it won't have yellow highlights and your fields won't be any wider than the standard for a CSV. So we switch back into Xero, we've downloaded our template, we've completed it and now we're going to upload it. So we need to browse, choose the file, make sure it's CSV format and then we've got two questions down here. Would you like to update contact address details? Well, we don't have address details, so we're going to leave that as no. Is the unit amount field tax, which means VAT inclusive or exclusive? Well, it was a total amount due, so it includes VAT. 3,600 was a total amount, which was VAT exclusive 3,000 plus 600 pounds of VAT. And then we select import. Sometimes you'll get error messages if you've got duplicate reference numbers, if you've got blank fields, you'll need to go back to your CSV file and check what's gone wrong. But we're fine here. Seven new draft bills will be imported and we just select click complete import. Now it takes these bills into zero, but they're draft. So if we had a look at one of them, we can click on the blue. We can see who it's from. We can see the date. Okay, 426 garden maintenance. Is that the, the code I input? Then that's fine. Let's just check that I've got the right code in the others. Yes, I have. Okay, so we will select them all and we will submit them for a no, we won't submit for approval. We will approve and we will say OK. And I'm just going to show you if we go to settings, general settings, and we go to conversion balances, we can see accounts payable is 3,600. And if we select save, Zero is quite happy. And that's because what we have input agrees to what's in the conversion balances. So that's how you do a bulk upload of your opening balances. One final thing to show you, if we go to reports and we go to aged payables and we amend the date, if we go way back to March 2015, select show invoices and update what we now have is the list of invoices as at our conversion date. Those invoices that we have uploaded in bulk are now in there and that's just confirmation that it agrees it's what we expect it to be. If you found that useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of our new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.